Immunosuppressive Drug, Wikipedia Article Audio Immunosuppressive drugs or immunosuppressive agents or anti-rejection medications are drugs that inhibit or prevent activity of the immune system. They are used in immunosuppressive therapy too. A common side effect of many immunosuppressive drugs is immunodeficiency, because the majority of them act non-selectively, resulting in increased susceptibility to infections and decreased cancer immunosurveillance. There are also other side effects, such as hypertension, dyslipidemia, hyperglycemia, peptic ulcers, lipodystrophy, moon face, liver, and kidney injury. The immunosuppressive drugs also interact with other medicines and affect their metabolism and action. Actual or suspected immunosuppressive agents can be evaluated in terms of their effects on lymphocyte subpopulations in tissues using immunohistochemistry. Glucocorticoids Immunosuppressive Mechanism Immunosuppressive drugs can be classified into five groups. In pharmacologic doses, glucocorticoids, such as prednisone, dexamethasone, and hydrocortisone are used to suppress various allergic, inflammatory, and autoimmune disorders. They are also administered as post-transplantary immunosuppressants to prevent the acute transplant rejection and graft-versus-host disease. Nevertheless, they do not prevent an infection and also inhibit later reparative processes. Glucocorticoids suppress the cell-mediated immunity. They act by inhibiting genes that code for the cytokines interleukin-1, IL-2, IL-3, IL-4, IL-5, IL-6, IL-8, and TNF-alpha, the most important of which is IL-2. Smaller cytokine production reduces the T-cell proliferation. Glucocorticoids also suppress the humoral immunity, causing B cells to express smaller amounts of IL-2 and IL-2 receptors. This diminishes both B cell clone expansion and antibody synthesis. Glucocorticoids influence all types of inflammatory events, no matter their cause. They induce the lipocortin-1 synthesis which then binds to cell membranes preventing the phospholipase A2 from coming into contact with its substrate arachidonic acid. This leads to diminished eicosanoid production. The cyclooxygenase expression is also suppressed, potentiating the effect. Anti-inflammatory effects Glucocorticoids also stimulate the lipocortin 1 escaping to the extracellular space, where it binds to the leukocyte membrane receptors and inhibits various inflammatory events, epithelial adhesion, emigration, chemotaxis, phagocytosis, respiratory burst, and the release of various inflammatory mediators from neutrophils, macrophages, and mastocytes. Cytostatics inhibit cell division. In immunotherapy, they are used in smaller doses than in the treatment of malignant diseases. They affect the proliferation of both T cells and B cells. Due to their highest effectiveness, purine analogs are most frequently administered. Cytostatics the alkylating agents used in immunotherapy are nitrogen mustards, nitrosoureas, platinum compounds, and others. Cyclophosphamide is probably the most potent immunosuppressive compound. In small doses, it is very efficient in the therapy of systemic lupus erythematosus, autoimmune hemolytic anemias, granulomatosis with polyangiitis, and other immune diseases. High doses cause pancytopenia and hemorrhagic cystitis. Antimetabolites interfere with the synthesis of nucleic acids. These include Methotrexate is a folic acid analog. 
It binds dihydrofolate reductase and prevents synthesis of tetrahydrofolate. It is used in the treatment of autoimmune diseases and in transplantations. Alkylating Agents Azathioprine, is the main immunosuppressive cytotoxic substance. It is extensively used to control transplant rejection reactions. It is non-enzymatically cleaved to mercaptopurine, that acts as a purine analog and an inhibitor of DNA synthesis. Mercaptopurine itself can also be administered directly. Antimetabolites By preventing the clonal expansion of lymphocytes in the induction phase of the immune response, it affects both the cell and the humoral immunity. It is also efficient in the treatment of autoimmune diseases. Methotrexate Among these, dactinomycin is the most important. It is used in kidney transplantations. Other cytotoxic antibiotics are anthracyclines, mitomycin C, bleomycin, mithromycin. Antibodies are sometimes used as a quick and potent immunosuppressive therapy to prevent the acute rejection reactions as well as a targeted treatment of lymphoproliferative or autoimmune disorders. Azathioprine and mercaptopurine Heterologous polyclonal antibodies are obtained from the serum of animals, and injected with the patient's thymocytes or lymphocytes. The anti-lymphocyte and anti-thymocyte antigens are being used. They are part of the steroid-resistant acute rejection reaction and grave aplastic anemia treatment. However, they are added primarily to other immunosuppressives to diminish their dosage and toxicity. They also allow transition to cyclosporin therapy. Polyclonal antibodies inhibit T-lymphocytes and cause their lysis, which is both complement-mediated cytolysis and cell-mediated opsonization followed by removal of reticuloendothelial cells from the circulation in the spleen and liver. In this way, polyclonal antibodies inhibit cell-mediated immune reactions, including graft rejection, delayed hypersensitivity, and the graft-versus-host disease but influence thymus-dependent antibody production. As of March 2005, there are two preparations available to the market, ATGAM, obtained from horse serum, and thymoglobul, obtained from rabbit serum. Polyclonal antibodies affect all lymphocytes and cause general immunosuppression, possibly leading to post-transplant lymphoproliferative disorders or serious infections, especially by cytomegalovirus. To reduce these risks, treatment is provided in a hospital, where adequate isolation from infection is available. They are usually administered for five days intravenously in the appropriate quantity. Patients stay in the hospital as long as three weeks to give the immune system time to recover to a point where there is no longer a risk of serum sickness. Because of a high immunogenicity of polyclonal antibodies, almost all patients have an acute reaction to the treatment. It is characterized by fever, rigor episodes, and even anaphylaxis. Later during the treatment, some patients develop serum sickness or immune complex glomerulonephritis. Serum sickness arises 7 to 14 days after the therapy has begun. The patient suffers from fever, joint pain, and erythema that can be soothed with the use of steroids and analgesics. Urticaria can also be present. It is possible to diminish their toxicity by using highly purified serum fractions and intravenous administration in the combination with other immunosuppressants, for example, calcineurin inhibitors, cytostatics and corticosteroids. The most frequent combination is to use antibodies and cyclosporin simultaneously in order to prevent patients from gradually developing a strong immune response to these drugs 
reducing or eliminating their effectiveness. Monoclonal antibodies are directed towards exactly defined antigens. Therefore, they cause fewer side effects. Especially significant are the IL-2 receptor and CD3-directed antibodies. They are used to prevent the rejection of transplanted organs, but also to track changes in the lymphocyte subpopulations. It is reasonable to expect similar new drugs in the future. Cytotoxic Antibiotics Muromatab CD3 is a murine anti-CD3 monoclonal antibody of the IgG2A type that prevents T-cell activation and proliferation by binding the T-cell receptor complex present on all differentiated T-cells. As such it is one of the most potent immunosuppressive substances and is administered to control the steroid and slash or polyclonal antibodies resistant acute rejection episodes. As it acts more specifically than polyclonal antibodies it is also used prophylactically in transplantations. Antibodies The muromatab's mechanism of action is only partially understood. It is known that the molecule binds TCR-CD3 receptor complex. In the first few administrations this binding nonspecifically activates T-cells leading to a serious syndrome 30 to 60 minutes later. It is characterized by fever, myalgia, headache, and arthralgia. Sometimes it develops in a life-threatening reaction of the cardiovascular system and the central nervous system, requiring a lengthy therapy. Past this period CD3 blocks the TCR antigen binding and causes conformational change or the removal of the entire TCR3-CD3 complex from the T-cell surface. This lowers the number of available T-cells, perhaps by sensitizing them for the uptake by the epithelial reticular cells. The cross-binding of CD3 molecules as well activates an intracellular signal causing the T-cell energy or apoptosis, unless the cells receive another signal through a CO-stimulatory molecule. CD3 antibodies shift the balance from Th1 to Th2 cells. Prevent the rejection of transplanted organs and tissues treat autoimmune diseases or diseases that are most likely of autoimmune origin, treat some other non-autoimmune inflammatory diseases, ankylosing spondylitis. The patient may develop neutralizing antibodies reducing the effectiveness of muromatab CD3. Muromatab CD3 can cause excessive immunosuppression. Although CD3 antibodies act more specifically than polyclonal antibodies, they lower the cell-mediated immunity significantly, predisposing the patient to opportunistic infections and malignancies. Interleukin-2 is an important immune system regulator necessary for the clone expansion and survival of activated lymphocytes T. Its effects are mediated by the trimer cell surface receptor IL-2A, consisting of the and chains. The IL-2A is expressed only by the already activated T lymphocytes. Therefore, it is of special significance to the selective immunosuppressive treatment, and research has been focused on the development of effective and safe anti-IL-2 antibodies. By the use of recombinant gene technology, the mouse anti-TAC antibodies have been modified, leading to the presentation of two chimeric mouse-slash-human anti-TAC antibodies in the year 1998, basiliximab and daclizumab. These drugs act by binding the IL-2 or receptors chain preventing the IL-2-induced clonal expansion of activated lymphocytes and shortening their survival. They are used in the prophylaxis of the acute organ rejection after bilateral kidney transplantation, both being similarly effective and with only few side effects. Glucocorticoids, cytostatics, 
antibodies, drugs acting on immunophilins, other drugs. Like tacrolimus, cyclosporin is a calcineurin inhibitor. It has been in use since 1983 and is one of the most widely used immunosuppressive drugs. It is a cyclic fungal peptide, composed of 11 amino acids. Polyclonal antibodies Monoclonal antibodies T-cell receptor-directed antibodies IL-2 receptor-directed antibodies Cyclosporin is thought to bind to the cytosolic protein cyclophilin of immunocompatent lymphocytes, especially T lymphocytes. This complex of cyclosporin and cyclophilin inhibits the phosphatase calcineurin, which under normal circumstances induces the transcription of interleukin 2. The drug also inhibits lymphokine production and interleukin release leading to a reduced function of effector T-cells. Folic acid analogues, such as methotrexate, purine analogues, such as azathioprine and mercaptopurine, pyrimidine analogues, such as fluorouracil, protein synthesis inhibitors. Cyclosporin is used in the treatment of acute rejection reactions but has been increasingly substituted with newer, and less nephrotoxic, immunosuppressants. Calcineurin inhibitors and azathioprine have been linked with post-transplant malignancies and skin cancers in organ transplant recipients. Non-melanoma skin cancer after kidney transplantation is common and can result in significant morbidity and mortality. The results of several studies suggest that calcineurin inhibitors have oncogenic properties mainly linked to the production of cytokines that promote tumor growth, metastasis, and angiogenesis. This drug has been reported to reduce the frequency of regulatory T cells and after converting from a CNI monotherapy to a mycophenolate monotherapy, patients were found to have increased graft success and Treg frequency. Tacrolimus is a product of the bacterium Streptomyces sucubiensis. It is a macrolid lactone and acts by inhibiting calcineurin. The drug is used primarily in liver and kidney transplantations, although in some clinics it is used in heart, lung, and heart-slash-lung transplantations. It binds to the immunophilin FKBP1A followed by the binding of the complex to calcineurin and the inhibition of its phosphatase activity. In this way, it prevents the cell from transitioning from the G0 into G1 phase of the cell cycle. Tacrolimus is more potent than cyclosporin and has less pronounced side effects. Serolimus is a macrolid lactone produced by the actinomycete bacterium Streptomyces hygroscopicus. It is used to prevent rejection reactions. Although it is a structural analogue of tacrolimus, it acts somewhat differently and has different side effects. Drugs acting on immunophilins Contrary to cyclosporin and tacrolimus, Drugs that affect the first phase of T-lymphocyte activation, serolimus affects the second phase, namely signal transduction and lymphocyte clonal proliferation. It binds to FKBP1A like tacrolimus, however the complex does not inhibit calcineurin but another protein, MTOR. Therefore, serolimus acts synergistically with cyclosporin and in combination with other immunosuppressants, has few side effects. Also, it indirectly inhibits several T lymphocyte specific kinases and phosphatases, hence, preventing their transition from G1 to S phase of the cell cycle. In a similar manner, serolimus prevents B cell differentiation into plasma cells reducing production of IgM, IgG, and IgA antibodies. 
It is also active against tumors that are pi 3 k slash akt slash interdependent. Everolimus is an analog of serolimus and also is an MTOR inhibitor. Cyclosporin Tacrolimus Serolimus IFN Suppresses the production of Th1 cytokines and the activation of monocytes. It is used to slow down the progression of multiple sclerosis. IFN is able to trigger lymphocytic apoptosis. Prolonged use of opioids may cause immunosuppression of both innate and adaptive immunity. Decrease in proliferation as well as immune function has been observed in macrophages, as well as lymphocytes. It is thought that these effects are mediated by opioid receptors expressed on the surface of these immune cells. ATNF Binding protein is a monoclonal antibody or a circulating receptor such as infliximab, adenercept, or otolimumab that binds to TNF, preventing it from inducing the synthesis of IL-1 and IL-6 and the adhesion of lymphocyte-activating molecules. They are used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, Crohn's disease, and psoriasis. These drugs may raise the risk of contracting tuberculosis or inducing a latent infection to become active. Infliximab and otolimumab have label warnings stating that patients should be evaluated for latent TB infection and treatment should be initiated prior to starting therapy with them. TNF or the effects of TNF are also suppressed by various natural compounds, including curcumin and catechins. Everolimus Mycophenolic acid acts as a non-competitive, selective, and reversible inhibitor of inosine 5. Monophosphate dehydrogenase, which is a key enzyme in the de novo guanosine nucleotide synthesis. In contrast to other human cell types, lymphocytes B and T are very dependent on this process. Mycophenolate mofetil is used in combination with cyclosporin or tacrolimus in transplant patients. Fingolimod is a new synthetic immunosuppressant, currently in phase 3 of clinical trials. It increases the expression or changes the function of certain adhesion molecules in lymphocytes, so they accumulate in the lymphatic tissue and their number in the circulation is diminished. In this respect, it differs from all other known immunosuppressants. Myriacin has been reported being 10 to 100 times more potent than cyclosporin. Other drugs Interferons Opioids TNF binding proteins Mycophenolate Small biological agents